How's it going guys? So, decent week, uh, but the Borderlands 10 year anniversary happened, the Borderlands 2 10 year anniversary, uh, I was immediately brought this post, so I figured I'd just go ahead and start with it. The 10 year anniversary went really, really poorly in my brain. I know that some people are like, it's a 10 year old game, it doesn't matter, people love the game anyway, just enjoy the game, but the game is broken and they didn't really do a whole lot for the 10 year anniversary. Borderlands 1 got a remaster. It was bad, but at least they got a remaster. Borderlands 2 got three guns with random parts on them, the Lauda Infinity and the Norfleet, and they got an OP-10 Unkempt Herald, which Xbox 360 and like PS3 can't use because they don't have Lilith DLC. Uh, five people got leftover mask from an event, I think, which could only be shipped inside the US. And then a couple people got game codes. That was it. No remaster, no fixing of bugs, like nothing that we can really use or be productive with. It, I know that they ignore the games and that it doesn't really matter because modding exists, but people who are on console and stuff, it'd be nice, you know? I'm not even wanting like a remaster necessarily, just do kind of like what Skyrim did, add a mod browser, maybe fix a thing or two, and that'd be it. That's all they would really have to do. I think a lot of people would be happy with that, but 10 years, nothing I guess, so yeah, that kind of just sucks. Alright, let's look at the rest of Reddit. Practice movement in Frostburn Canyon tonight, and went mostly well. Oh, it's Zubies again. Okay, Zubies is an absolute maniac of a human being. Jolts just released a video where he showcased him doing the whole percent and hopefully that'll bring some traffic his way because he really deserves it. He is incredibly good at the video game. That is Z-E-U-B-I-E-S-S. -S. Absolute monster as you can see here. I know the frames are kind of choppy because Reddit OP, but he is absolutely insane. Doing a Siren playthrough and just noticed how Mordecai stands up on top of the rock during the Bloodwing fight. Yes. Uh, he stands there the entire time that you are down doing stuff and also it is uh, He stands in pretty much any area that he shoots in like any map so like this one uh, and then Tundra and that's it <laughs> But those two so it's kind of cool still that they would at least like add him there It is also kind of weird though because he just stands static and the only time he moves is whenever he flicks really quick to shoot something and then he stands right back to normal as if nothing just happened. <laughs> but yeah, it is a nice touch, I guess. I tried the OP-10 Herald code on PS3 and it's OP-18. Yes, this is exactly what the problem is and it's kind of funny. So basically, uh, the Fiber Sanctuary DLC makes it to where the level cap is 80 and it makes the OP level OP-10. If you are on an old console, it still thinks that the level cap should be 80 and that the max is OP 10. So it treats players that are level 72 like they should be able to get OP levels, but they can't at all. You would do Digi Peak, no OP level would be rewarded because you're not the max level, and there's nothing you can really do about it now. I guess people who had OP8 already would be fine probably, but anyone who probably started a new character, I'd assume it wouldn't work. But yeah, can't use the Unkempt Herald, get wrecked, uh, that's it. I don't know if anyone else likes Soulsborne, but this easter egg still is amazing. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It is kind of funny, yeah. Uh, I kind of wish this would load properly. There we go. Yeah, it's a good meme. Uh, I don't know. I've probably just played this mission or like seen it for too long to be like really fascinated by it anymore, but it is good. Yeah. Comparison made, but which is superior? Which one would you choose? I'm new to the game, finding it hard to pick between the two. Uh, I have been using them interchangeably and they almost seem perfectly even. Okay. So, we're choosing between a bolt action, uh, Jacob Sniper versus a Lauda. Of course, the Lauda, uh, specifically since it's fire here, would have better DPS against flesh enemies, but if it were a different element, it would have better overall DPS. 
and then if you were to use the Jacobs, it'd be better for single shot. So if you have trouble keeping your ammo reserves up, you'd probably use that instead. They're both fine picks, they're both really fun, but the Lyuda would technically just win out here because it is, it's three pellets, higher DPS, you can stack critical ascension with it easier, stuff like that, so it would win. Oh hey, it's my own post! Okay, so I thought that the infinity thing was really stupid. So I was like, hey guys, thanks for the infinity. Uh, this is Diablo 2. For anyone who isn't aware of the video game, it's really, really fun. I do like to play it a lot. Uh, yeah, Diablo 2, good game, good meme. Uh, I don't know, I can't, it, it's my own post. <laughs> Magic Slaughter round 3, tons of deaths, can't seem to figure out why. Well, the main reason is that it's Magic Slaughter. Uh, but we can have a look at our build here. So we're doing a melee build. We've got a legendary hunter on, probably replace that with a ninja by now, I would assume for more like just better melee odds. Uh, and then maybe a melee relic from here. Maybe also like a chain lightning or just a lightning or a storm front or anything to just strip the shield. Although it is a dead, like it, it is love thumper. So I guess you wouldn't need to strip it. So it doesn't matter, but I don't know. Uh, Better grenade maybe for healing instead then, not sure. That's about it though, just class mod, relic, maybe nade. You're good. Bordercraft 0.14, okay. I want this to be a thing. I'm, I, I see that they're actively working on it and it's really really good, but I want to play it. I just want to mess with it. It, like, it. it looks like it'd be really really fun to mess with. Uh, of course this is probably some After Effects or stuff, but Whenever I get the new computer running, get some like shaders going like they have here. Maybe find a Borderlands texture pack if it would work with this, unless vanilla just looks better for it. This would be really fun. I'd love to walk around in this, yeah. Any ideas why the Infinity just starts shooting like a shotgun? Okay, uh, so he's holding a grog and it's a drunk effect. Okay, uh, you have a grog. It make bullet shoot more, but low fire rate bad. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Just don't hold the grog or embrace the grog, one of the two. Well, I guess we're already towards the bottom here. I've pretty much skipped a bunch of the 10 year anniversary reposts. So those, I like, it's just, it's just repeating the same idea. People are saying, oh, thanks for the free legendaries. Or a bunch of people just asking if the parts are good on their rolls that they got for their legendaries. But that's it. So, short week, it happens. Reddit's probably a little bit slow sometimes, so it's fair. Uh, I still don't like the 10 year anniversary. I understand that it's fine or whatever, but there's still so much they can fix about the video game, including the multiplayer service that they put into it like seven years after release, and then it just stopped working and it breaks all the time, but they don't come back and just remove it because Steam worked great. Uh, Steam was fine. Why did why steam was good i don't understand but yeah that's it thank you guys for hanging out i appreciate it hope everyone has a nice rest of their week i'll see you guys next week that's it bye